We are live. We are live. We are live, my brothers and sisters, and welcome to this week's YouTube Live, man, with the Funkster. I am the Funkster. I am your host. And uh, today we are going to talk about the power of metabolic workouts. And if you're first time here um, and you've never, you don't know who I am, hopefully you do because you're on this channel. My name is Funk Roberts. I'm a former professional athlete turned metabolic, master metabolic um, trainer, which means I have uh, created certification for metabolic conditioning for trainers and coaches throughout the world. Um, I am also, is this for women too? Yes, women as well. <laughs> women can be on this too. Uh, I'm, I'm also, uh, you know, MMA strength and conditioning coach. Uh, I'm a transformation special for men over 40. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've also uh, been on N N NBC, ABC, CBS, as well as uh, a co-author of the Amazon best-selling um, book. And thank you so much for being here today. Guys, I want you to let me know your first name and how old you are. And, you know, I'm here today to talk about metabolic training and answer your questions. You guys are coming hot. You're coming hot. I love it, man. And again, welcome uh, this week uh, for another edition. So let's first, uh, let me, what up, Tim? Good to see you. Uh, let me know your first, Joe, what's up? Let me know your name. Let me know who's on Cedric39. Again, what's your first name um, and how old you are and where are you from too? Let me know where you're from so that other people. What up, Elijah is 40, Ben's 40, Lawrence is 52. I love it. I love it. My boy, 50. How the heck do I burn fat during menopause? Yeah, DD, it's tough, but you got to keep going, girl. You got to keep going. Atlanta's in the house. Tyler Texas in the house. Dre, 47. What up? 55 years young. Yeah, man. Let's. What up? Elias, 42. Good to see you. Matt's 46. Loving the kettlebells. I got more kettlebells coming for you, Matt. 33-year-old. What up? What up, Mike? Cindy's 54. Good to see you, Cindy. Manny's 50, 41. Philip, what up, Philip? 51. Ben from Canada, living in Guatemala. What up, Ben? Mike's 44 from London. Freddie's 46 from, from Trey. DC's in the house. 57-year-old vet. What up, Alan? Shayla's 23. Good to see you, Shayla. I really want to stay cut, but keep the keep the look and stay strong. Yeah, we got you, Elijah. I'll tell you how to do that. How you doing, Cindy? Bar Levy. What up? My name is Bar, 23 years old from Israel. It's okay to do three times a week running program, three times full body. Um, it all depends on what your goals are, but you're 23, so you could probably do that. What up, Vince? 41. And what up, New York City? What up, everyone? Good to see you guys. I'm Funk. I'm 50, so I'm in the house here. Ben's from th uh, 39 for Arling Arlington, and today what I want to really talk about quickly was the power of metabolic training. Good job, Bro Brooklyn, um, Manny, 41, and a lot. Most of the people who are on right now, I can see, are over the age of 40, whether you're a man or woman. And I love that. I love to see my, our, our over 40 plus. People who are under 40, no worries. I'm still there for you guys, but you can use the same workouts. Chuck, what's going on? 43, Paris is in the house, bonjour. And um, yeah, so today I want to talk about metabolic training. So if you guys see my, my YouTube channel, I just posted a total body metabolic workout. When I talk about metabolic workout, I'm talking also about HIIT training. And guys, keep telling me who's on because I'll, I'll send shout outs. I'm talking about hit training but not specifically the hit training that you may think right not necessarily what you're talking what you may be thinking like you know crazy crazy crossfit or what have you although those are metabolic what i'm talking about are joint freddy metabolic workouts yes you can't you lose weight no problem warren warren guys if you're over 40 right away i'm going to tell you in your mail go to over40alpha.com and join that because that'll help you learn the, how to eat and the workouts, metabolic workouts specifically, that'll help you burn fat, lose weight, get into shape, boost your testosterone. What up, Chicago? And get rid of those man boobs as well, um, because man boobs is too much estrogen, and so that that means we need to boost our testosterone levels. Anyways, so when I talk about metabolic workouts, let me just quickly say I'm talking about workouts where you're moving from one exercise to the other with little to no rest in between. So you can either do them for rest. Or you can also do them for um, 
You can also do them for time. Know your body. Everyone should know their limitations and modify where necessary. Absolutely. Definitely modify where necessary. Um, you're not going to go crazy, but you can modify. It. Definitely, Alan. So you're moving from one exercise to the other with little to no rest in between. So for instance, um, you can do a 40 seconds of work of one exercise followed by 20 seconds rest or 30s like okay let's just talk about the one we just posted let me break that down for you 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds rest one after the other so you're going to go as many reps as possible with good form for 30 seconds followed by a 30 second rest so that you're resting you're recovering and then you move on to the next exercise um tabata is a metabolic workout absolutely so 20 seconds rest followed by 10 seconds rest or maybe you're doing like 10 exercises of one, 10 reps of one exercise, then you move to 10 reps of the next, one after the other. So there's many different ways to, to put together a metabolic protocol, but, um, but, uh, but the reason why I like using these is because specifically as we're getting older, like in our 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, we want short, high-intensity circuits or short metabolic workouts that'll help us build muscle, that'll help us get stronger, that'll help us burn calories during and after, right? And this will definitely help us boost testosterone because one of the key um, reasons why we want to use metabolic workouts that are short is because it increases growth hormones. Research shows it'll increase our growth, growth hormones, increase our testosterone specifically after while helping us with the afterburn effect. And I just finished doing a, uh, a Facebook Live where I talked about the afterburn effect. So again, we want workouts that are short. Now, the reason why we don't want to go in specifically over 40, because most of the people on here are in the 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. So the reason why uh, when we're in that age, 40s, 50s, 60s, we want the best bang for our buck workouts. When we go into the gym and do buys and tries, oh, thanks so much, JT Collins. I truly appreciate it, man. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And yes, I do not. I, I, I'm all. I'm totally against TRT. Um, we'll talk about that after. What's the website? So let me just put it in the website for over forty. It's over forty alpha. Over forty alpha dot com. Go there right now and join, man. I'm telling you, thirty days for free. Get on it. I'm telling you, if you're over forty in your mail right now. Open up another browser, go to over40alpha.com, and it'll change your life. Anyways, so we want so when, when we're going into the gym doing buys and tries, right? Back and shoulders, we're doing a lot of volume, right? So you just think about it. You're going, let's just say we're doing biceps, right? We're going and we're doing biceps. We're doing 10 reps or 12 reps of bicep curls, three sets. So it's like a 30, 36 reps. Then we're gonna do maybe barbell curls, right? Because we're doing three, usually doing three exercises. Three reps, three sets per exercise with 12 reps, 10 to 12 reps. That's a lot of volume on our body and on our muscles. We don't recover as well as we do when we're younger. You must know that as you're 40, 50, 60, you even know it's tougher to recover. And, it, it, and again, it's shown we don't recover as quickly as we did when we were 20s and 30s. So it's very important that we don't put too much volume because what's happening is when you're in the gym, doing dumbbell workouts or kettlebell workouts or whatever, that's when you're breaking down your muscle. That's not when muscle grows. Muscle grows during recovery and sleep, right? We need seven, nine hours sleep. Muscle's growing, testosterone's boosting, testosterone production happens at night. But that's when our muscles grow. They grow at night. They grow in recovery. They're not growing when we're breaking down. Stimulation happens in the gym. Breaking down the muscle happens in the gym. Then during our recovery time, our muscles are going, okay, um, I'm recovering. And that's why it's important to feed your muscles the right nutrition so that now your muscles have the nutrition. They got the protein. They got the carbs. They've got everything they need to recover quickly. Inflammation's down because you're feeding it the right foods. You're not feeding sugar. So it's blocking and inflaming your muscles so you don't boost testosterone and you don't recover as fast. So now you have, now your body is recovering during the growth days. That's why I call it growth days, right? Breakdown, stimulation, in the gym, grow when you're resting. And so now your body's resting. What up? Good to see you guys. 46 year old from the UK. What up? Athens, Greece, 52. Keep going. Thank you. So now your muscles saying, okay, man, this guy just broke me down. So now we have to, we, not only do we have to grow, but we have to get stronger. So the next time this guy or girl goes in the gym, we're going to be ready for it. We're going to be stronger. We're going to have more muscle. So when you're doing buys and tries one day, then back and shoulders the next day, and then legs the next day, and then back to buys and tries or whatever. Too much volume. Specifically for us, 
in our 40s, 50s, 60s. Unless you are going on stage and of course you want to, you know, you, you're doing a bodybuilding show or some physique show, then of course, of course, you have to do that type of training. That just makes sense. But for 99.9% .9 of us who aren't going on stage, we need to do workouts that are going to give us the best bang for our buck, allow us to recover, allow us to build muscle and burn calories and burn fat and lose weight, and um, and, and sustainable so that we can continue to do so we're not killing on getting injured and getting, you know, having these little injuries and nagging injuries and hitting plateaus. So when you do short 30 minute workouts, the one I just posted is 36 minutes with about an eight minute intro and, and warm up. So you really, you're, you're only really working out for about 25, 26 minutes. It's all we need, but it's total body. So what we want to do is we want to do setup, right? So your connection is unstable. Please wait for trying to reconnect. So I'm just going to, it looks like my okay here we go so um so yeah th so that would be perfect like if i was to tell you guys okay let's start off with a general plan because everyone's different you can modify during that but a general plan would be okay three work three workouts total body workouts monday wednesday friday 30 minute workouts and here's a workout here's a here's a good workout for you let's just talk about total body you start off with goblet squats right you get the dumbbell you pull let's say we're going to do a dumbbell workout okay just just giving you an example dumbbell goblet squats or just dumbbell squats 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds rest so first round you're just going to do what you can and then second second and third round you do as many reps as you possibly can moving quickly with good form then we're going to move to bent over rows right so we've got two dumbbells and we're going to do bent over rows bringing them back to the hips really engaging the the um your your lats and lower lower back so now we're hitting the back. So we got our lower body with the squats. We got our back. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, right? So hit the dumbbells. And now we're doing chest press as many reps as we can, making sure that our arms are 45 degree, not out here. So we're, we're not impinging our shoulders. And then let's say we do dumbbell curls. We pick up two dumbbells. And after the 40 second, 20 second rest, we're doing dumbbell curls. One after the other. Right? Keeping our body tall, keeping our shoulders back, really engaging the the dumbbells. And then we do something for our triceps. So let's do lying dumbbell tricep. Uh, press right so we're here and we're pressing lying down on the ground so again every one of these exercises 40 seconds of work 20 seconds rest finally we take light dumbbells and we do uh, uh standing side lateral raises right and and then maybe we can even do an ab just i'm going to throw in a uh a, a ab bicycles at the end so seven exercises we hit our total body we're moving from one exercise to the other doing as many reps as we possibly can in between right so 40 seconds as many reps with 20 seconds rest, and we're challenging ourselves with the dumbbells. So we're not just taking light dumbbells. We're actually challenging, challenging ourselves. The first round, we may go light. Of course, the first round, we just want to get used to the exercise, get our muscles used to it. So we've already warmed up. Then we do the first round where we're just going to do, you know, nice, easy um, round, getting our bodies ready, you know, used to, the, used to each exercise. And then round two and three, we turn it up. We go as fast as we can. We try to, we challenge ourselves. So by the time we get to 30 seconds, we're struggling. We do three total rounds and that's it. That's a, and when you go in and actually do that, you will see. <clears throat> Here's my boy right here. Look at this, Alan. Alan does full body three times a week, compound movements. Sure, you can, and, and again, it all depends. Two exercises per body part, three sets each. Out of the gym. Okay, so you're in the gym way too long, right? So, Alan, I would suggest you're in the gym for 70 to 90 minutes. You should be in the gym no longer than 40 minutes because when you are working out too long, anything over 35 to 40 minutes, your cortisol levels start to increase. And cortisol is a killer, right? So cortisol is a killer hormone that kills our testosterone. Remember, us guys in our 40s, 50s, 60s, our number one focus is doing workouts that us increase our testosterone, that won't break down our body, that won't break down our, 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 our body so that we can't recover. And we've got to have the best bang for our buck. So if we're in the gym for 75, 90 minutes, by the time we're hitting 40 minutes, our cortisol levels are high, our testosterone levels and our and, and our, our lower. So our cortisol levels actually are, are high, and that's going to block our, tes our testosterone levels. So we're in there way too long. Cortisol is, a, is not only a hormone that blocks testosterone, but it's also a hormone where uh, that, that causes belly fat storage, right, as long as estrogen. So I like the fact that you're doing full body, but it's just way too long, right? And again, 
as and it, and that includes 10 minute cardio in the beginning of 10 minutes. Yeah, so that's that's way too long. Like your whole gym is too long. What I would do is I would say, let's go. So this is what I would do. I would go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. What I would so this is what I would do. I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I would go in and do total body workout. I would do that maybe even two rounds, right? Because it sounds sounds like you want to get that cardio in. And then doing that two rounds will be about 20 minutes. And then I would do a finisher. So even if you did three rounds, I would do a finisher. So I do a sprint finisher. I would jump on the treadmill. I would jump. Sorry about that, guys. I would jump on the treadmill and I would do um 30 seconds of sprints followed by 30 seconds rest. 30 seconds sprints by 30 seconds rest. That way you get fat burning muscles, right? Oh, sorry, fat burning finisher while you're doing an awesome workout, right? Alan, that's great. You got 12% body fat. It's working for you. Beautiful. If that's working for you. That's awesome. It's sustainable. That's awesome. You're good. You're fine. That's awesome. But for other people, other guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond, I would not suggest that because, again, you also don't want to spend that much time in the gym. You want to be in and out. You have a life. You don't want your life being 90 minutes in the gym for most guys. Again, there's always going to be outliers. There's always going to be guys like Alan who's got 12% body fat and is getting, you know, is doing what he's doing. 100%. This is Oliver, the oh, phase seven. My advice to everyone, trust the process. Fun. Yes. Thank you, my man, Oliver. Love it, man. Love it. Good to see you, Oliver. Good to see you. Yes, Oliver's in the brotherhood over 40 Alpha. He definitely knows. He's definitely in there. Um, is there a train to muscular failure with metabolic workout? You know what? Uh, great question. You can actually train to muscular failure with these workouts by adding more, um, more, uh, more weight to your um, to the work to the exercise and going as fast as you can. Anyways, so short period of time, thirty minutes. That's enough. Specifically, if you're working the way you're working with one, you build muscle, but you'll also. Um, what happens is the afterburn effect, and I just did this in another one, so please bear with me. The afterburn effect. Um, okay, so this is the afterburn effect or epoch, right? Excess uh, post oxygen uh, consumption. What happens before you work out? Okay, so that's just at rest, our body at rest. So people who do long bouts of cardio, which I'm talking like the elliptical or the stair climber, at a moderate rate um, for like 45 minutes. This is what happens. You get you get there and then you just you're just at a steady state. After you're done, it probably takes your body about 30 to 45 minutes to get back to homeostasis. So you're burning calories, not a lot of calories, during, and then it actually you also takes your body energy to get back to homeostasis. So you will burn calories after the workout's done, but it'll probably take about 30 minutes. A metabolic workout, a high intensity workout, like the one I posted today, or like the one I just talked about, you're going at a high intensity, right? One exercise after the other, with little rest in between. You're going one after the other, working hard. Um, so you're you're the calories you're burning and the intensity you're going is really really high for a short period of time. Then it's going to take your body 24 to 36 hours, is what research shows to get back to homeostasis. So you're burning calories during, but even, listen, even if it doesn't take 24 hours, even if it just takes 12 hours, even if, if it just takes five hours, it's after you're done the workout, you're still burning calories after. Remember, in order to lose weight, burn fat, it's about calories in and calories out throughout the day. So you want to make sure your workout is allowing you to burn calories during and after. So that's why doing these metabolic workouts, like the one I just posted, is perfect, specifically for us guys over 40, because A, right away, when we hit 30, we're naturally, our testosterone levels are naturally decreasing 1% to 2% every single year, okay? So 1% to 2% every year when we're 30. So by the time we hit 40, our testosterone levels are super low, and then they continue to get low, and that's just naturally. That doesn't, that doesn't take into account how sedentary we are, how stressed we are, um, the foods that we're eating that boost our killer to hormones like uh, uh, cortisol, even though we need a little bit of cortisol every morning, when we have too much cortisol that blocks testosterone and holds belly fat. If we have too much estrogen, specifically for men, we need a little bit of estrogen, but too much, that's when we get the, the man boobs. That's when we get uh, the fat on, on, along the belly, along the, you know, the, the tough, stubborn to burn belly fat. Right, uh, inflammation. I'm not talking not a hormone, but inflammation. When our inflammation levels are high, when our ins insulin levels are all over the place, when our thyroid levels are low, so all of these things are killing our testosterone and killing our uh, weight loss, our muscle building, and sorry, 
let, let me talk about muscle. So when we reach 40, we, re, we hit what's called sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is a natural loss of muscle. So that's why when we hit 40, for some of us, for most of us, it's very hard for us to build muscle. When we do build muscle, though, it's, it's, a, it's a lot dense. So it's really good when we can build that muscle. But we're naturally losing muscle. So we've got to continue to do things to help us build that muscle. So, when we're, so that's why... Um, doing metabolic workouts will help because not only if, even if we just use body weight, like even if it's body weight, we don't even have to use dumbbells. If you don't have access to dumbbells, you can still build muscle using body weight. You'll just build muscle more effectively with dumbbells or with resistance, right? But the metabolic, again, helps us build muscle, helps us burn fat, helps us boost testosterone and growth hormones. Because again, remember shorter workouts, under 40 minutes, under 30 minutes, growth hormones spike. After that, if you're working out too long, your growth hormones start to go down and your cortisol levels go up. Cortisol blocks testosterone. So we want to make sure, and we also want to make sure that it's sustainable, right? We want to, uh, we want to make sure it's sustainable. Warren, if you don't know how to eat, go to over40alpha.com and I will teach you how to eat. I will teach you the foods to eat. I will teach you why it's important to have a balanced plate, 40% carbs, 40% fat, 20% um. 20%, sorry, 20% protein and vegetables per per um, meal. So go to over40alpha.com. Okay, Warren, again, I'll put it in here. Um, over, if you're serious, if you're totally serious, um, then go to over40alpha.com and join. So, and, and again, remember, we want it to be sustainable. We want to be able to work, listen, as we get in 40s, 50s, 60s, we need to keep moving. We need to exercise. We need to, you know, we need to move. We don't have to do crazy workouts every day because remember, recovery is important too. We need recovery. We need massage therapy. We need, you know, to have great seven to nine hours sleep so our muscles can grow, so we keep cortisol levels down, so our testosterone can produce, right? We need to do things that will help us recover. Yoga, perfect for you for recovery, perfect for core, perfect for balance, perfect for strengthening um, our muscles. But then we also need to do um, – um, yeah, that's great, man. Good for, good for you, Alan. You're doing great. You're doing absolutely great. Um, you know, that. So, so it's really, really, really important that we have workouts that are sustainable. Imagine doing three workouts per week. It's way more sustainable than trying to get workouts every day, sitting in there for hours a day. Like we have families. We have communities. We have um, grandkids for some of us. We have work. So we need to be able to stay fit to get fit, to get into the best shape of our lives while making sure it's sustainable, right? Making sure it's sustainable. Um, so let's see what we've got here. So um, so the power of metabolic workouts are key. So if you can do three to, like if I was to say, okay, guys, let's just do something that's general, okay? If you're over 40, okay? If you're under, if you're in your 20s, man, you can work out multiple times a day. If you're an athlete that's training for something specific, then yes, it's going to be different. If you're trying to go on stage to do bodybuilding, then yes, you have to train specifically. If you're in your 30s, yes, you can probably do a little bit more volume. But when you're in your 40s, 50s, and 60s, float float definitely works. Then you need, what I would suggest is to start three total body workouts three times a week using dumbbells or your body weight. No more than 30 minutes, 35 minutes, like the one I just posted. Guys, if I just posted a workout using dumbbells and body weight. Do that workout. That's a workout that I would say do that. I wouldn't do the same workout three times a week because you want to um, build, you know, you want you want to challenge yourself. You want different movements. You know, you want squats. You want, you know, what have you. That's great. That's awesome, man. Alan, I love it. I love the fact that so um, three times a week you have that main workout. Then in between, stuff like, Stretching, stuff like foam rolling before and after, right? Foam rolling or just foam rolling five minutes a day. That'll help. That'll get the fascia. We have what's called the yoga shred. I'm going to be coming out with a yoga shred, 15-minute yoga um, routines that are easy for people to um, – uh, to, to use and to do. Uh, floating is great. Cryotherapy is great. Massage therapy is great. Ice baths are good. Cold and hot baths are good. Like whatever we can do to help us recovery, but also, you know, ab and core training on those days, right? Just got to keep moving. I would take one full day. Like what I have my guys in there in our order, over 40 alpha, I give them, I tell them one full day, don't do anything, right? Get, give that body rest, meal prep, you know, get your mind ready for the week. 
three to four times a week, you're going to do a workout. And then those other days, you're going to do like either yoga or maybe an ab and core or maybe something that you like. Maybe it's a sport or what have you. But getting those metabolic workouts are going to be key to best bang for your buck as you get in your 40s, 50s, 60s. The cool thing about metabolic workouts is you're not going to hit a plateau. You're not going to put too much volume. You're not going to get injured all the time. So, um, and you got to be drinking a ton of water every single day. If it's a gallon, it's a gallon, man. Mm -hmm. Right there, guys. Water is going to be your best friend. Keeps inflammation down. Keeps your body burning fat. Um, it helps. It 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 helps um, drain your body. It helps with not being dehydrated. You want de um, you don't want to be dehydrated. So um, yeah, man, love it. I've done a thousand burpees in thirty days in August. I love it, man. I love it. Uh, Nate, uh, I did have a burpee, hundred burpees. Was a hundred burpees or fifty burpees a day? I think it was. 50 burpees a day. Was that August or was that was that in July? Anyways, kettlebells are great. So that's it. I just wanted to hook you guys up with, you know, a little bit of information regarding why I think metabolic, well, not why I think, research shows, specifically in over 40. Most of the guys on here are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. We need to reclaim our body, man. We need to reclaim our lives. I love what you say, Alan. Yes. Helps you eat less. Definitely, man. Alan's got it. Alan's on point, man. Alan's on point. Alan, I would just advise you to go a little bit less in the, in the gym. But, hey, if it's working for you, don't stop what's not working for you. If you want to hit the – but if you want to get to a little bit, you know, to 9% to body fat, then, yeah. And, yeah, how you sleep, definitely 7 to 10 hours every day. Sir, you may be more beautiful without this beard. I know. Thank you. Please remove it. I'm not removing it. So, But thank you very much. Anyways, guys. Ask some questions. Let's get to some questions. I got like 10 minutes. Let's ask questions. Army vet from the, well, there you go, Alan. You're an army vet, man. You know what it takes. I like it. Uh, you know, like I love army vets because they, they got, listen, I'm not saying not everyone has that hardworking focus, but a lot of, um, you know, soldiers, army vets, they've got that hardworking um, mentality. So giving a plan you get it done. So if you are a vet, get into the over 40 alpha brotherhood, man, because we've got a lot of vets in there who are training hard, who are training smart, who are eating well, who are getting in the best shape of their lives, man. Yeah. Get in there. Cindy, you're awesome too. Cindy, go to over. Uh, Cindy, if you want a program, let me know right now, Cindy. If you want a program, Cindy, let me know right now. And I will send, I will put that link for you. 100 discipline. Yeah, that's key. Thank you for all your training. Thank you so much. Okay, Cindy. Uh, this is for Cindy and any woman who's over 40. Um, give me two seconds, guys. Um, I'm going to post this for Cindy or any woman who is over 40. No disrespect to the guys. As you know, um, I already have a program for you guys, but this is for you, Cindy. You're going to love it. It's my wife, myself, and also um, Faye, who's amazing, um, and she will hook you up. There you go, Cindy. That's for Cindy. Okay. Uh, workout mids, any advice? Workout mids. I don't know what that means, John. Thank you for your info. I'm 39. I've done your workout. Thank you, please. Yes, awesome. Caves, I do three metabolic workouts a week and also lift heavy three times a week. Is that too much? Uh, depending on how much, how old you are, Caves, um, for younger guys, you probably can get away with it. But for older guys, I wouldn't get away with it. This is what I would do, though. If you like working out heavy, a lot of guys still like to lift heavy. If you're younger, what I would do is do some heavy. So I would set up a where you would do a warm up, then you would do your heavy lifts, maybe for 15, 20 minutes, not too long, and do a metabolic finisher, where you would do like a circuit, one exercise after the other. That way, you get that fat burning, you get your calorie burning, you get your heavy in. And then I would, what's happening right now, caves, is you're not giving your body time to rest. You're not giving your body time to recover. So you're just putting workout on top of workout on top of workout. It's not sustainable. Give me a tip, remove love handles and man boots. Manny, uh, go to over 40 alpha. That's where your tip is. You need, um, thank you so much, Rich. I love it, man. Love it. I love you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Totally appreciate it. What if over 40 training feels like you lose stamina? Nick, you won't lose stamina. Believe me. You'll be, believe me, your cardio and conditioning will go through the roof. We got guys in there who train martial arts and they are killing the guys that they are training with because their conditioning and cardio is way better. Believe me, you won't lose stamina because these workouts are more uh, ana anaerobic, anabolic. So you're going to actually get better cardio. Working midnights. Yeah, if you're working midnights, you're just going to have to change up the way you train. Like my wife, she works 
shift work. So if she's got to change the way she trains. Sometimes she, you know, depending on, she might train at night. Sometimes I train at night. Sometimes I don't have enough time to train during the day. I'll go to a meeting at night and then I'll hit the gym for a short 30 minute workout and get it done. So yeah, you rock. No problem, Cindy. Thanks for, for your website. We'll take a look. Thank you, Alan. Love it, buddy. I love, and listen, Alan, I love, I love your mindset, man. You're the man. I like it. I like your mindset. Hey there, you are an inspiration. Thank you so much, Manage. 45. Yeah, caves. That's for me, that's too much. You're not giving your your body enough time to, to recover. You're setting yourself up to get injured, to get little injuries here and there, and to hit a plateau and to not only not get uh, results, but you know, you're, you're gonna your, your results are gonna go the opposite way. For if you like to work out, do four workouts, do two strength, two metabolic, and give yourself time to rest in between. But your 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 um your uh, new nutrition is going to be key. You've got specifically if you're working out that much, your nutrition's key. Um, Mandy, yeah, rapid abs, yeah, man, rapid abs is a good one. I'm going to come up with more of those. Don't forget supplements. Yeah, supplements are key too. Protein's really good. Um, magnesium, uh, uh, all all those supplements to help with boosting testosterone will be key. Thanks, Cheyenne. I've got those two top two abs, but. It, Feels like there's a gap. Those are, yeah, you know, it's going to be nutrition for you, Nate. Make sure your nutrition's on point. Huber, what do you recommend? To ten yeah, tennis fit? I, oh, I don't have strength. You know what I would recommend, August? I, I am also a uh, former tennis player. I played, grew up playing tennis. Um, and metabolic workouts are perfect, you know, specifically like the one I just posted. It's going to give you, it's going to help you with cardio conditioning. It's going to help you um, total body. So you're going to get uh, leg you know, you're going you're gonna to get stronger legs. Um, you're going to get, um, you know, stronger upper body, shoulders. So total body workouts using dumbbells or your body weight are going to be great to add on to your tennis as well. I run marathons, martial arts, and play and personal train, but I have to be lazy over nine, nine years. But I've been lazy over the last nine years. Oh, you used to run. Yeah. 63, 6.3. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're 6'2", two, three, two, 330 pounds. Wow. Yeah, man. You know what? JT, Colin, go to over40alpha.com and get back into it, man. Okay, I'll get you into go to over40alpha.com and start using my Over 40 Alpha program. I'll teach you how to eat, and I'll teach you the workouts that'll help you getting back into it. I also help you with mindset. And you have support of all these other brothers, hundreds and hundreds of brothers. We have thousands of guys in this program. You have the support of hundreds of brothers who will be there to help you, keep you motivated, and keep you on point. Plus, again, I teach you with mindset. So I help you focus on uh, getting that bulletproof mindset, inner motivation to help you get through workouts, help you eat um, uh, eat uh, healthy. Sorry, guys. I'm just... Anyways, I got to get going, guys. I So um, let's see what else. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Um, bottom line is use the workouts. So what I'm going to do, um, Funk has a lot of conditioning for martial arts. Yes, I do. Absolutely. Love you guys. How old are you? I'm 50 years old, guys. 50. Is skinny fat a metabolic thing or nutrition? Yeah, skinny fat, definitely. I would do both. So if you're skinny fat, definitely nutrition is going to be key to help you get rid of the belly fat, to help you keep your cortisol levels down, boost your testosterone, but also um, dumbbell workouts, dumbbell metabolic workouts to help you build lean muscle while you're losing that weight. No problem, August. Um, is running okay if you're trying to bulk? Probably not. If you're trying to bulk, then your nutrition is going to be key in the workouts that you do. Um, I like your videos. I want to ask you, should I do metabolic workouts on an empty stomach? But uh, because it's, yeah, you can, you can definitely do that. I do them on an empty stomach as well. Thanks for the chat. Thank you guys. Hey, Rich Jr. Thank you so much, man. That kettlebell workout is the truth. Thank you so much, Rich. I got more kettlebell workouts for you. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. JT Collins, I want to see you in. You guys are amazing. I want you to have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me again. Next week, I'm going to be in Vancouver, so I won't be able to do this, but the week after, we'll just have a straight up question and answer. I'll come on and answer all your questions. You guys are amazing. Philip Green, I met you at uh, uh, at Tiger Muay Thai last year. I think it was trained with Chris Crew. Oh, Chris Crew. Philip, well, Philip, great to meet you, my man, uh, and re meet you. Definitely. Um, that's awesome. Uh, Tiger Muay Thai, yes, I think I remember meeting you. It was trained with Chris Crew. Oh, train, train with Chris. Anyways, so what do you cop, Philip? <laughs> I will be there in April. 
next year. Anyway, thank you guys. You guys are the best. Try that workout that I just posted, okay? I want you all to try the workout. Grab some dumbbells and try the workout. Do the best you can. No matter how, just like uh, Alan said, modify if you have to, but it's a follow along. So literally just, it starts at 844, but do the, do the warm up too. And just do the workout and see how powerful this is, all right? Thanks so much, guys. You guys are awesome. I will see you soon. Thanks for the money um, uh, that you guys did. That's awesome. Chris and crew. Oh, right. Sorry. I got you. I got you. Um, get back to the office. Thanks so much. Um, get it done. Train hard. Fight easy and get it done. See you in the next two weeks from now. You guys are awesome. Peace.